hello guys now we are going to make a part on discussion of the some important condensation polymers first i am going to discuss with you the nylon polyamides in polyamides <coughs> first is nylon 66 in which the amide linkage is conh this i have discussed with you in the last class its method of formation and main thing is that its monomer is hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid you must learn their monomers also and earlier i had given you the question what do you mean by the 66 six six here and 66 six six means number of carbon atom 6 are present in the nylon 636 it has been asked a number of time then come on the next polyamides which we are going to discuss that is the and nylon 66 is used in making sheets used in making sheets bristles for brushes bristles for brushes and for climbing ropes climbing ropes these are the important questions to be in a part of discussion and one more question i had given you on the behalf of nylon 66 that is what do you mean what do you mean by the what do you mean by 66 in nylon 66 and answer for that is 66 stand for number of carbon atoms now come on second polyamides first is nylon 66 now second b is that nylon 6 nylon 6 the monomer of nylon 6 are caprolactam caprolactam and it stand for c2 ch2 5 nh co it will give you the nylon 66 we will make their polymerization and nylon 6 is used for making tire coats making tire coats fabrics and ropes now third one is that we are going to discuss that is the now some polyesters we will discuss now some polyesters and in polyester we are taking the example decaron or terrily that i also told you in the previous class decaron or it is also known as terrily and its monomer are ethylene glycol and terthalic acid ethylene glycol ch2 oh ch2 oh and terthalic acid cwh benzene ring and then cwh terthalic acid t 
tartalic acid and this is ethylene glycol its method of formation i told you earlier in the previous class so no, no need to go again it is grease resistant and also very important to learn this one and uh, it is grease resistant used in blending with cotton and wool its use is its main use is it is grease resistant now the next one is it is blended with cotton and wool fibers to make wash and wear clothes it is also used in making seat belt it can be used in making of seat belt now we are discussing to some more the next is that glycol ethylene glycol it is made up of ethylene glycol and thylic acid my dear student please take concern that when we are discussing the glycol its monomer are ethylene glycol and thylic acid but when we discuss terylene then its monomer are ethylene glycol but with terthylic acid in terthylic acid its one four linkage is coming when our thylic acid its one two linkage is coming and glycol is used in making paints liquors building material like asbestos cement it can be used in the cement so please take care when i'm writing its monomer and be aware next we are coming with some more monomers
formaldehyde and melamine and we will get the melamine in this way we are getting the monomers of melamine and melamine is used in making used in making unbreakable broccoli unbreakable broccoli thank you guys next we meet with some more